Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues. The ballot is right at the voter's eye level, easily read, and all officers and all candidates are at the same eye level. No candidate suffers by being placed in an unfavorable position. The commissioner won over service clubs all over the county whenever he addressed them by reminding them of the large number of voters who are disenfranchised every year at the paper ballot type polls by making mistakes. Busy people often, by habit, make check marks on the ballot in states where X's are required. They might as well have stayed home. That vote is a no vote. Doesn't count. Illegal. Other voters find that at the last minute they have accidentally voted for the wrong man, or they change their mind. Don't, lady? Uh-uh, it doesn't count. Or, you know election pencils. Good try, sir, but this ballot will be thrown out. Or, in the multiple choice offices, errors are frequent. She's entitled to choose five state representatives, but she's marked six. This is a no vote. Simple mistake. Yes, but out of every thousand people, some hurried, some nervous, some uninformed, how many do you think do it perfectly? The commissioner figured there's some excuse for being disenfranchised by tyranny or war or fear. Oh, yes, it can happen here. But not for well-intentioned mistakes, not in this age of the voting machine which cannot make a check mark instead of an X, which does let you change your mind by simply pushing the pointer back up, which has no pencil to break or paper to tear, which will not let you vote for more than you're allowed. The pointer will not turn if you've cast all your votes. And when you're satisfied with your vote, a new privilege awaits you. You will register and count your own vote by returning this handle. Walk away knowing your ballot cannot be disqualified, thrown out, nor miscounted. It's already counted the moment you leave. As the commissioner likes to say, we've really become one of the Freedom Curtain counties. Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues.